Are you curious what it's like to take a one-way cruise, also known as a repositioning cruise? They can be quite lengthy. Following are 10 must-know items that I learned that I want to share with you about repositioning cruises. Most cruise lines offer repositioning cruises. A repositioning cruise is different from a standard cruise because it's only one way and it's usually at least seven days. Number one, you will be among an older crowd. Passengers on long cruises tend to be older. Retirees are most suitable since they generally have more time to get away. There are no megaphones or all night partying. Instead, a generally kid-free cruise means fewer kids splashing in the pool and an arcade all to yourself. <sighs> Number two, you're more likely to make friends. My husband and I made several solid friends while we were on our recent 15 day cruise. You're meeting the same people over and over again because you tend to go to the same places each day. Dinner in the main dining room is a great way to make friends, as long as you don't get placed at just a two person table. Number three, on a transatlantic cruise, you will feel the motion. Going across the Atlantic Ocean means lots of nonstop crashing waves. Be prepared to waddle like a duck so you don't fall down while you're walking around. Also know that you'll be rolling from side to side in bed. For me, the rocking made me sleep like a baby. However, my husband couldn't sleep well until he moved to the couch. He said lying perpendicular to the rocking is less impactful. The continual creaking sounds of the ship also took some getting used to. I have not experienced seasickness personally, but if you're prone to it, a transatlantic cruise would be an ideal time to take a preventative drug or sea bands. Some ships offer free seasick prevention pills. Number four, you will not be bored. As with most cruises, every day you'll receive a newsletter outlining the day's planned activities and events. Make sure you bring a pen or highlighter with you to note the activities that most interest you. For example, you could choose to go to the casino. Or listen to music. dance or learn to dance or just hang out at the pool. Number five, you will not go hungry. It's just not possible because there's such a variety of food always available. For example, the buffet area is open 24 hours a day. You can always get coffee, tea, water, fruit, and some basic other food. At breakfast time, the fresh hot food starts coming out. You can get carved ham and usually even order an Eggs Benedict or an omelet. On some cruise lines, such as Celebrity, meals are offered via complimentary room service as well. The food in the buffet does not get tiring because there is such a lovely variety of options and they meet most dietary restrictions and desires. There are always standard good items like fries, nachos, grilled chicken breasts, baked potatoes, steamed vegetables, and salads. They also have a different daily food theme. You can enjoy meat pies on pub lunch day, corn on the cob and fried chicken for Taste of USA. For Taste of Mexico, you can indulge in a Mexican chicken lasagna. Other examples include curry day, meatball day, and fish and chips day. Whatever you choose to eat, you may want to save room for dessert. The desserts are delicious and plentiful. There are always sugar-free and gluten-free options as well. All passengers may choose to eat their complimentary meals in the main dining room instead. The menus offer premium and gourmet options for appetizers, main entrees, and desserts. The dining room offers a way to try something unique, to encourage eating a standard serving size, and to enjoy a nicer ambiance and service than in the buffet. On some cruise lines, you can order food from the main dining room via complimentary room service. Number six, 
you will gain or lose hours. On repositioning cruises traveling from east to west, you'll gain some hours. And on those traveling west to east, you'll lose some hours. For a transatlantic cruise, the UK is six hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time in North America. So ships traveling eastbound gain an hour every day or almost every day of the journey. Because the time change is so gradual, jet lag's not an issue. That's one of the many reasons that cruising is better than flying. Number seven, there's a medical bay and pharmacy on board. Certain medicines are available in the ship's store. Choices are limited and prices are high. Instead, you could visit the ship's medical bay. You could pay to see a doctor or you don't need one to purchase over-the-counter medicine. I bought a bottle of effective cough expectorant for $10. Number eight, you will learn new things. There are free presentations and classes given throughout each day. Certain fitness classes are often complimentary or learn about other cruises and your upcoming ports. Other examples include dance classes, cooking classes, art classes, and seminars to learn about artists, for example. Number nine, most ports are optional. Cunard offers direct transatlantic cruises, but they and other cruise lines also offer repositioning cruises with ports of call. In many cases, you can choose not to disembark from the ship at those stops. An exception is when passengers first arrive in the U.S., they must be interviewed by Border Patrol. It takes about a half hour to go through the process, then just turn right back around and get right back on the ship. The benefit of staying on the ship includes a mostly empty ship with more room to enjoy private time and also their specials on their spa and other kinds of activities. Alternatively, taking a break in the ports can provide an opportunity to enjoy a beach, geography, or just a new experience. Number 10, you will be in awe. The water is serene and mighty. The skylines are magnificent. Breathing in the air is invigorating. Questions, comments? I'd love to hear from you and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks! See you next time!